Hello everyone, these are Zafu2 in the house with another card flash. This may be the mother of all card flashes based on the decks that are involved. <laughs> it was requested partially by C.B. Smokin' Yesar, which is a weird name. I'm not even sure if I said that correctly, but C.B. Smokin' Yesar. And I also had some involvement in this one. There was requests to do, you know, class meeting this one and that one, that one and this one, so I decided combine them all. So this is a triple threat between the B win Friars Club and Nuggets. Real Nuggets, not the fake ones I had previously planned to use. <laughs> so let's get on into it. Obviously the B win is the standard B box, red seal which is what I hope to become one day, a red seal, carpenter that is. <laughs> and inside you get the violet backs, which are almost a light purple. Hopefully this is the real one. <laughs> eh, not one of the fake ones that I had. So you get your casino barcode card that says it's from April 5th, 2006, I believe. A security scan card. You get standard tech art faces, uh, if you're not familiar with that, it basically means you get standard pips with jumbo indexes. Very popular in casinos because it makes them a lot easier to see what they are. Jokers, standard with massive indexes. Port cards are standard with tech art. Aces have four indexes and standard ace of spades, or B ace of spades, I should say. And same with the tokus. You get two of them. Pretty simple back design with the win logo. Everyone likes these decks and they want them. Pretty popular in the card community. Probably thanks to Fury 11 or Dan and Dave, but I'm not 100% sure who was responsible for that. <laughs> and that's that. Good B stock, nice thick, and a embossed. Linen, Ericus, and Finis, whatever they use on this Cambridge Finis, I'm not entirely sure what they used at the time on this set, but it handles nice. Let's get on to the Friars Club. This one, pretty plain box. It's got the back design on the front. That's the back design. Got nothing on the sides or the top. Bottom says regular playing cards. Oh, goody. And the back has nothing on it. And nothing on the flap either, so there's no trademark information, there's nothing, nada, zero. But they do have a, they actually have the same stock and finish, it appears, as the Jerry Nuggets. Which has a interesting finish that just goes completely up and down on the faces and the back, you can see a little crisscross. So it's pretty much an air custom finish, but it's a little bit different. Old school finish, they don't use it anymore because of chemical reasons, apparently. So, your number cards standard, code cards standard, not a casino deck. Jokers, just a little symbol, logo, not bad. Not groundbreaking, but not bad. <laughs> not standard either, so that's good. Oh, uh, the ace of spades I surpassed. <laughs> this is how I know what it is. It's got the Friars Club logo on the Ace of Spades. And it says 2023, which is obviously not the year because it hasn't been, we haven't gotten there yet. Anyways, it says Pre Omnia Fraternitas, which is some kind of fraternity, and it says Friars Club. Probably the same thing <laughs> in Latin. And you see a Friar type dude on there. And that's that. Uh, one Joker, two Jokers, there you go. They handle good. And the back design, we'll get into it in a minute. And these right away come in red and blue. The B win, they come in the violet, purpley color, a red, and also in a, um, Brown, of course, but I didn't use that one to be fair. 
they handle all right. Not bad, considering they're old. They're pretty old. The stock is a little bit stiff, even though it's thin. And the back design is is that. It kind of looks like a castle or something. I really don't know. It's very interesting. Plain and interesting and different and kind of weird. And it's definitely mm, a little bit thinner than the B. And then the Nuggets, of course. Everyone wants these. Not everyone wants to pay. Of course, they come in red and blue as well, unless you get the fakes. And there's like four different colors of fakes. The green is very rare, and I have one of those, but they're also very crappy. Very thick, at least. Very, very thick. And black, blue, and red, and fake. There are fake ones, but sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. The ones I got aren't bad. The fake B wins. There is. <clears throat> Did I say red and blue for this one? I believe it's red and black. The fake B wins, they come in a purple, a green, and a black. Anyways, nuggets. You get the back design on the front and the back. It says Jerry's Nugget on the sides. North Las Vegas Nevada on top. There's no seal. That was removed for some reason. I had nothing to do with that. And the bottom. Again, North Las Vegas Nevada. Nothing on the flap. And no little tabs. <laughs> And again, standard number cards and court cards. Joker say compliments of Jerry's. Nugget, North Las Vegas, Nevada. Joker in the corners. This one's really close to the border. This one not so much. Pretty interesting. And then the other Joker in here somewhere is identical, of course. And then you raise the spades, Liffle in USA. And you've seen this in other decks as well. And it does have the exact same thickness as the Friars Club, so explains why those ones are sought after. Back design, bam, very nice, I like it. These are 100% authentic, well, 99% sure of that. <laughs> and they handle pretty good, nice stock, I like it. And of course, thanks to Dan and Dave, everyone has to have them. <laughs> And Dan and Dave is willing, them to sell, willing to sell them to you for only 500 bucks. Mm. Anyway. So we got the Jerry's Nugget. We got the wins. And we got these ones. Which ones do I think are the best? Do I recommend? Well, without a doubt, it has to be... Not that one. <laughs> Nuggets. By far just because it's the most collectible most sun after the colors really pop on the back design the red and the blue vice versa for the red one and I like it it's iconic it's a piece of playing card history this one I mean it's nice it handles great looks pretty cool and I recommend having it in your collection as well but it's not as sought after and this one if you like Jerry's Nuggets, or you want to have something that has the same stock and finish, made in the same time period, it's basically the same thing, except the B, I mean the, uh, it is very much the same stock and finish. The stock is a little bit different, I think, but the finish is the same, or very similar. Actually... These ones got more of a, this is smooth finish. These ones actually have embossing, so not as highly sought after, but it's very similar stock and finish to the Nuggets. If you can't afford them and you want to get something similar, by all means get this, but it's the least popular out of the three, for me anyways. So that is what I got. I will see you next time. Yeah.